Hi again. This is the last part of this problem here. And the last part of the problem is asking you to do the shear just to the right of the support A. So if that is my support A and you want to calculate the shear there, I'm going to make a cut like we always do. So I'm going to make the cut. But as the problem states, this is the support where my reaction AY is. And I'm going to make the cut right here just to the right. These two points are basically the same, slightly different. But I'm exaggerating the distance. So this is going to be the moment at slightly to the right of the point A, and the, uh, the moment of the, the, the shear. And of course, if I'm working in this interval, this interval is going to be 0 smaller or equal than x smaller or equal than 10. What does that mean? That for this part, I'm going to have a load of 1 on top of this, moving up to this point. What do we do? Summation of forces in x equals 0. Uh, x, yeah, right. Summation of forces in y equals 0. What do we have here? Negative 1 plus ay minus va equals 0. However, however, 1 however and 2 however are 3 however. Uh, from the previous, where is the previous? This one. From the previous, the first part of this problem, we calculated Ay as 1.5 minus 1 over 20x. We can do it again, but why am I going to do it if I already did it? 1.5 minus 1 over 20x. This is Ay from previous, previously, from Dexter, previous calculation. Okay, so VA is going to be equal to AY minus 1, or VA is going to be 1.5 minus 1 over 20x minus 1, or VA is going to be equal to 0 0.5 minus 1 over 20x. There you go. Boom. I'm not going to say boom because I saw another professor channel, which is very good by the way, and you should watch it. And he said BAM! So now he's going to say that I'm copying him. Uh, now, this is the shear here. Now, what happened after this point? After this point, I'm still going to have the cut there, still going to have the AY there, still going to have the VA there. However, this load now is acting here, or here, or here, or here. That is the value of the load 1 in any of those places. And what is that interval there between 10 and 35 for the rest of the beam? Now, boom. so what do we do here? Same thing, same difference. Summation of forces in y equals 0. Now, VA is going to be equal to AY, meaning AY, VA is going to be equal to 1.5 minus 1 over 20x. Next step, table of values, table of values, table of values. What do we do? Table of values, table of values, one, this is x, this is uh, what am I calculating? The shear at just to the right of the support A at 0, 10. Once again, because at 10 changes, I'm going to copy 10 again. I'm going to say this is 10 when I was in this side of the beam. This is 10 when I move to this side of the beam. 20, 30, and 35. 10, 10, 20, 30. What are we doing in this side? Well, in this side, this part, the VA is going to be 0 0.5 minus 120x because we are here and here and there. Now, for the other part, between 10 and 35, this is the equation. and this is what we're going to do here. What is the equation there? The equation there is 1.5 minus 1 over 20x. The rest, plug and chug. 
for x equals 0, this part, 0 0.5 minus 0 over 20, 0 0.5. When x equals 10, 1.5 minus 10 over 20, well, 10 of them. I'm reading this one, 0 0.5. You see, I was switching using this one. 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5, 0. Now, with this 10, now I use this one. 1.5 minus 10 over 20. This is a 1. Now I move here. Uh, I move here, I move here. 20. 1.5 minus 20 over 20. What is that? 0 0.5 and 1.5 minus 30 over 20. That's 1.5 minus 1.5, 0. And 1.5 minus 35 over 20. And that's 1.5 minus 1.75, which is negative 0 0.25. Now what do we do? We plot, 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 plot of the jungle, watch, for three. There you go, plot. This is VA, this is 0, 10, 20, 30, 35. 10, 20, 30, 35. When x equals 0, this is 0 0.5. Now a 10 is 0. And look what happened here. I mean, these two lines are straight lines, remember? It's always straight lines and influence lines if, we, if those influence lines are for determinate uh, structures. For indeterminate structures, yes, you will have curves, but we haven't covered that part yet. Now, when you use the other equation, suddenly you have one. And then you have 0 0.5, and then you have 0, and then you have negative 0 0.25, which means this follows. I'm looking for my ruler that I just had in my hand. And I lost it. Well, let me use this other one here. Same thing. Same difference. Right there. This is negative 0 0.25. 0. 0 0.5. Does that make sense? That was a rhetorical question. But yes, it makes sense, of course, because when the load is approaching here, when the load is exactly on top of the support, which is this part, that load is going to be cancelled or it's going to be absorbed by the reaction right there. That's why you have zero. Now as soon as you are looking at the load to the right, just a little bit to the right, like there, the totality of the load is becoming shear and then it continues in that way. This is the third part of the problem. I hope that you like it and if you don't, I'm so sorry. You like it anyway. Uh, see you next video. Keep watching. Keep learning. Bye.